Okay, let's look at the difference between an exogenous money supply and an endogenous money supply. Now, let's begin with exogenous. That means determined outside the model by something else. Now, your model is where you have the interest rate and the money supply. What we are saying is that the money supply is not a function of the interest rate. It is determined independently by the central bank. In other words, if we draw a diagram of that, it is this vertical line, money supply, and it shows it's independent from the interest rate. The change in the interest rate does not affect the amount of money in the economy. The central bank, however, can control the money supply, and if they wish, they can increase the money supply, which is then a rightward shift of the money supply function to the right, so that every interest rate there is a higher supply of money. Now, an endogenous money supply is what we're saying here is the money supply is a function of the demand for money. And you remember now, this is our money demand function. In other words, what we are saying is if the money demand increases in the economy, that will lead to an increase in the money supply. So there's no independent money supply curve here. So what we know is if you increase the level of output in the economy, the demand for money will increase. That is sort of a rightward shift of the money demand curve. And you can see as the demand increases, the money supply adjusts and there is more money in the economy. The other one is if you change the interest rate, if you decrease interest rates, the quantity of money demanded will increase and that means in terms of your model you start here 10 percent to 8 percent you can see there's an increase in the quantity of money demanded which brings about an increase in the supply of money so in this case money is determined by the demand for it it's demand determined in this case it's independent and it's determined by the central bank